Are all men created equal? Lincoln would say yes, according to his famous speech in Gettysburg, 1863. And now, in physics, we have a similar question. Uh, can all photons, all photons created equal? Or more technically, can they be indistinguishable, no matter where and how they come from? I would say yes, according to new experimental evidence from our lab. Let's look into a rather simple but amazing quantum effect, Hohmann-Mandel interference. When two photons enter a beam splitter, they will always come out from one output port together. This leads to a deep pattern in the interference experiment like this. And it can be used as an approach to evaluate how identical two photons are. But note, so far, all these are, uh, these are registered to uh, lab sources uh, made by a person, like uh, uh, lab sources of laser, trapped iron, or trapped ions. Uh, this is a big restriction, and I am to break that wall. So the idea is to interfere photons from the sun and a quantum dot on Earth. This is obviously challenging, because the sun is far away and thermal. So only a tiny part of photons from the sun may be indistinguishable to ours. And we need to select them out. So we designed an optical experimental setup, and we developed the techniques, and finally succeeded in overcoming these difficulties. This is what we got, a remarkable interference dip. The visibility of the interference is so high that uh, we further use it to establish quantum entanglement between photons from these two distant, dissimilar light sources. And we further use it to establish, uh, to test bio-inequality uh, with a violation of more than three sigma. So uh, uh, the result shows that, that uh, photons from the sun and a quantum dot earth can be indistinguishable. Uh, this result uh, tells me that uh, it can be shown that we can say for sure that we break the wall of distinguishability in universe, not just for person, for society, but it's for universe, so it's a pure uh, freshman in science. Thank you. Questions? What application do you have in mind? Oh yeah, um, the, this uh, Hohmann-Mandel interference has very uh, is a basic element in quantum information. So you can do uh, use it to do like uh, measurement device independent uh, quantum k distribution, uh, quantum k distribution, and uh, it is a basic block in quantum computing with linear optics. Yeah. <coughs> Last minutes, fast questions. No, thank you very much. Thank you.